Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to read the final book in the Macduff series, except for the Christmas one, but those start tomorrow. Tomorrow we start Christmas stories every weekday until Christmas. But today we are reading Macduff's Wild Romp by Rosemary Wells. So here we go. Macduff found a warm, sunny spot under the baby's swing where the baby's turkey tidbits fell. He was just going to he was just going into a turkey tidbit trance when suddenly Lucy called, Come, Macduff, it's Sunday dinner time. Macduff knew that they were not heading for Lake Ocarina or the takeout stakeout or the dog training school. He knew they were going to Aunt Frida's house. Oh boy, Aunt Frida's house. During Sunday dinner, Macduff was supposed to stay in the parlor with per Perlina. Perlina would not let Macduff sit in the chair. She clicked her teeth at him. Perlina would not let him sit under the chair. She showed her claws. Perlina would not let Duff stretch out on the heating vent. She spat at him. Perlina is a persnickety kitty. But some kitties just don't know about dogs. Perlina did not want him behind Uncle Nate. She flattened her ears and hissed like a log sizzling in the fire. What was that? asked Uncle Nate. The noise startled Aunt Frida, and she bumped into Grandpa Floyd, who stepped on Cousin Rose's foot, who knocked against the baby's high chair. Goodness, sounds like a tumble. That turkey tidbit fell to the floor, and it rolled on the dining room table. Nobody saw it but Macduff and Perlina. Macduff began to creep into the dining room table. Perlina began to creep in from the parlor. They slunk towards the turkey tidbit while the family ate their crab cakes. Salad followed the crab cakes, and closer and closer they tiptoed. Mmm, mmm. What do you think they're doing? They sneaked and peeked under the table. Just as the family was finishing the salad, Macduff and Perlina reached for the turkey tidbit. There it is. They both want it. Probably not going to go well. There was a hullabaloo right under the dining room table. Fred jumped to his feet and knocked over his chair. Stop, Macduff, commanded Fred. Bad pussycat, shouted Aunt Frida. Uh-oh. They're fighting. That's not good. Up the stairs, down the stairs, Perlina chased Macduff, but she did not catch him before Macduff swallowed the turkey tidbit whole. Perlina rolled Macduff off the sofa and across the carpet, but the turkey tidbit was gone forever. Uh-oh, look at that. Wild Romp is right. What has got into you, Macduff? asked Fred. We're embarrassed, Macduff said, cried Lucy. <gasps> Look at the mess they made with their little hullabaloo. Goodness gracious, Macduff and Perlina. The parlor furnishings had to be put back on its feet. The lamps had to be plugged in again and the carpet vacuumed. Whatever could have happened to make quiet, gentle dog and cat behave like wild tigers and bears? Asked Uncle Nate. Goodness gracious indeed. They don't know about the turkey tidbit. Nobody could answer the question. Not Aunt Frida or Cousin Rose or Grandpa Floyd or Lucy or Fred or Aunt Frida. Aunt Frida served coffee in her seven layer chocolate dream cake. I'll take one of those. The baby liked the seven layer chocolate cake much better than the turkey tidbits. So she took the last of the turkey tidbits and threw it on the floor. Oh, another turkey tidbit on the floor. What could that mean? Again, said the baby. Uh-oh. She figured it out, didn't she? She was having fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed the wild romp, and I hope that today that you have a wild romp. Something that's fun, but not a fight. And come back tomorrow when we start our Christmas stories. I'm excited to read all about Christmas. And maybe I'll throw in some bonus stories as well. Um, probably not um, children's stories. I have some more... Um, like not pictures, adult stories. Um, I also have one that's got, um, I think, poems in it. So I might share some of those as well. Let me know if you're interested. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming.